Ez, a, ez egy kikötött hajó itt a e, korallok mellett. Miki már készülődik a végkatalkor a kezébe. Van. És nézzük, így körbe van kerítve. Egyébként. Az egész, és itt még semmi nem látszik sajnos a korallokról. Úgyhogy érdekes például ez itt. Ez a csirályok. Itt már búváróhákat fölvenni. Ha! Haj, haj! Nem az én a táskában. a búvár, Okay, hang on, Paolo. Johnny, I think it's full body shot. Is there all blue or Vízből. Csak az a lényeg, hogy megnézzük technikus lépákat, meg, meg mindenféle izét. Itt vagyunk egy hajónak a fenekébe, és valami jól érezzük magunkat, csúszdáztunk, meg minden ilyesmi. Kimentünk a korázatnak, hogy megnéztük, tehát jó érzés volt. Én annyi sógattam, hogy... Pont annyit, mint én. Az egész testem tiszta só most. Só rögök keletkeztek bennem. Most az a lényeg, hogy ezzel a hajóval ki fogunk menni a nyílt vízre, és gondolom mindenféle érdekes vízi állatot meg fogunk nézni, meg talán a korál zártan jobban fogjuk látni minden a hajóból, mint egyébként. Nézzük meg, mit is látunk. Semmit. Mert még nem érdekes, hogy a kamerában ilyen narancsárgának vagy rózsaszínek tűnnek az ablakok. De ha jobban megnézzük, akkor láthatjuk, hogy itt a kilátásnál, itt a tetején, Jaj, nem jól rázom voltam. Itt már a víz alatti rész van. A hajónak az aljában vagyunk, ugye? Igaz? Jaj, egy vízi szörny. Jaj. Aha. Ó, oh. tessék balancsolni. Csók van drága. Meleg, Miki, úgy hívják. Hogy? Meleg. Víz alatt? Ott is, mindenhol. Talán van meleggel. Na ennyi egyelőre. Majd ha látunk valamit, akkor újra visszakapcsolódunk a viszont látásra. Láthatjuk, hogy épp egy falraj halad itt el. De miért? Én nem miért lehet venni? Ha itt a falraj, nem látszik. Na mindegy, majd figyelj, és akkor ebben viszont. Ma megyünk. Oh, look at this. We're coming up on the right side, port side of our boat. So if everyone can grab a seat on that side, we'll be able to see quite clearly. Now there's loads of fish out here. Oh, yeah. Sparkling in the sunlight. Now with the increased temperatures in our summer or our rainy season up here in the tropics. Nem tudom, mennyi fog ebből látszani. Nagyon. Ó, de gyönyörű. Na, ezt látjuk a tenger alatt buvár szemüvekbe. Kis. 
so it's all just one big chain. Mm, that's now you see them all darting around and they are in fact. Yeah, that's that them. Mm-hmm. Some of you might have seen on the pontoon today that you saw some birds swooping down and there was a bit of a melee going on. What was happening with that? Was there was uh, some tuna feeding on the little bait fish, oh, and they scored the bait fish up to the surface, and then they jump through the school oh, to catch, it, catch the little that fish. That way, they uh, don't have anywhere else to go, and so uh, on the way up, the tuna leap out of the water, catching the fish away. Oh, this is actually to get my lads again. So the birds, of course, swoop down. They get a free feed because all the tuna is done all the work by schooling the school. Well, I'm sure you'll get that way. Now, of course, they're schooled together because there is safety in numbers. If there's lots and lots and lots of them, then they've got more chance of surviving an attack, which is neat. Now, as we're looking out the window at the moment, you can see some beautiful coral structures. Now, the corals form sexually once a year, and the sexual reproduction occurs at this time of year. Cool, it's going to happen. 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 It's pretty much this week, okay? So um, one night this week, all of these coral are gonna get together and they're gonna have a big party. And they're gonna release all of their eggs and sperm into the water. The eggs and sperm will then get together, dance around and make babies. They'll uh, fertilize each other, or the sperm will fertilize the eggs, of course, make the little plankton um, coral that will float around in that planktonic form for a little while before settling down onto the reef. When they find a place where they want to make home, they lay down their little calcium carbonate shell and then they are settled there for the rest of their lives. They get a little bit lonely though, they do these coral polyps, so they decide they want some company so they can do a really cool thing and that is they reproduce asexually, which means that they can divide themselves into two. They split themselves down the middle or they bud themselves off and they make themselves their own little twin. I mean, that's pretty crazy. So the little twin then moves in next door and lays down his little calcium carbonate shell and the apartment building gets a little bit bigger. So if you think of these colonies just like apartment buildings, these two uh, little coral polyps, they do eat corals themselves. The main species that we'll get to see is the butterfly fish. The butterfly fish does feed on coral. The common one that you might see as we're going along is a yellow one, which is quite circular from the side and it has orange vertical bands down its side. Now corals can be quite small, the individual little animals. The boulder corals are the smallest animals, they are only one to two millimetres. But a coral polyp can get quite large as well. There are corals that are solitary, ones such as the mushroom corals that really do look like upturned mushrooms. They are one single coral polyp. They do not uh, have company, they do not form colonies. They are solitary corals. So when you see them, they can be quite large, they can get out around about 30 centimetres of size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, yeah, mushroom yeah. corals, they're all solitary corals. And they of course can live much, much longer than the uh, smaller coral polyps as well. Soft corals are quite often seen out here and they look like kind of cauliflower or broccoli that quite well, soft and they do like waft around in the current. Good. These soft corals are not inhibited by that calcium carbonate shell. The reason that they can get away without having this calcium carbonate is quite simply because they are poisonous. They don't want to be eaten by anything, which is great. Now the calcium carbonate that the coral does lay down is very similar to our bones. In fact, one genus of coral has been found to uh, have porosity very, very similar to our own bones and it is in fact used in bone uh, replacements in humans. Okay. So we do use coral to our advantage, the calcium carbonate that the, co- that the coral produces. We have used as uh, grafts in humans because we can actually um, attach our own blood vessels and nerve endings. And this uh, increase in nutrients does decrease the visibility and with that it also decreases the uh, distance in which light can penetrate. Now we only have the natural light, the sunlight coming through the uh, surface of the water. Now when sunlight comes through water it does bend, the light rays do bend and it gets absorbed. The colours get absorbed at different rates. Unfortunately we lose the reds and the oranges first. So the red and the orange wavelengths get uh, lost and unfortunately they are still there. Um, There are reds and orange orange corals out there on the window. It's just our eyes cannot see them which is uh, a little bit unfortunate.
De akkor ez már ha jó. De én, én amikor nem voltam az üvegben, hanem lementem, akkor se láttam más szint. Now with Nemo, they're pretty exciting. The fish have an ability to be able to change sex. Different species do this in different manners. Some do, don't do it. Hello, sziasztok mindenkinek! Itt vagyunk. Nem bírtam már életem. Bejelentkezünk egy tök jó kis kapnik túráról, ahol körbejárunk egy pár szigetet, és meg fogunk nézni nagyon sok érdekességet többek között. Abba barlangba is be fogunk tekinteni. Most pedig egy hatalmas rafting csónakkal szeljük az óceán közepén. Király! just behind the wedge-tailed eagle. They can have wingspans of up to two meters, so they get pretty big. Right there, guys, for the walk, all you'll need are some shoes, goggles, whatever, something to chuck on your feet and your cameras, all right? So you can leave all your bags and stuff on the boat here. I'll just yank it up out here. Just be really careful of these rocks here, they're really slippery, so uh, be wary of them. Um, we're going to go to Whitehaven after this. Fifteen, Lino. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the bottom of the night. We got it. Na, hajjam, hajjam, jöttünk. Na, hajjam, hajjam, hajj. Én vagyok a túravető. Jó, teszed. Ja, oké. Remélem, jó magasra kell menni. Imádok mászni. Izgalmas pillanatok az élünk át. Most értünk be az abó barlangba. Hát ez fantasztikus. Köszönöm, 